Welcome back to the channel. Last time I showed the process that I go through when creating realistic looking eyes. And in this video, I will cover the materials and tools that I use to create the effects of fur. Now this is only an overview. I have made other videos that go into more detail and I will put links in the description below. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, as I always read and answer them. The fur is actually indented into the paper, so the paper needs to be relatively tough, and I generally find around 3 to 400 grams gives the best result. I usually use St Cuthbert's Saunders Waterford, but for this picture I decided to try Archie's Aquawell and both papers are hot press, so have a relatively smooth finish. To indent the texture into the paper, I use a couple of darts that have been rounded off on the ends one of which has just had the tip rounded off slightly for finer work, with the other one rounded much more for the thicker heads. I also find, for the effect to work best, it is a good idea to work with the paper on a hard surface such as MDF. Before starting to indent any texture, it is a good idea to look at the direction and length of the hairs that you are going to do. For the most realistic look, you want to work in small areas at a time, making sure that the hairs are dense and tangled. It can be quite difficult to see the marks that have been made dart, but what you can do is to use a light on an angle, as this will cast a shadow into the indentation making them much easier to see. Blunt pencils can then be applied over the top to reveal the texture. The pencils want to be blunt so as to avoid them going down into the indentation made by the dart. One of the most common mistakes is to just shade over the top, as this will give a flat look to the picture. What you actually want to do is to draw the pattern of the fur back over the top of the texture, as this looks much more realistic. In terms of the pencils, I'm using a 4B and 2B for the darker areas, and a B pencil for the lightest. And then when I am happy with how the picture is looking, I will use a 9B for the final bit of contrast. If I feel any areas of the fur look too harsh, I can just simply use a blending stump to brush some tone down into the indentations, softening the look. Equally, if I need to lighten or highlight any areas, I can just simply do this with the kneadable eraser. Now this is very effective, but bear in mind it is a very time consuming process and it can't be rushed. To give you an idea of time, a picture like this will probably take me somewhere in the region of about three to four months to complete, with most of that time being spent on the fur. So I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.